Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy bringing you the good news that Ionic version 7 is finally released. I talked about this almost two months ago when we had the release candidate, so it took us two months to go from release candidate to finally released version. And there were no big changes in between that. So let me cover quickly what's new. We got now inlane overlays for everything, like modal, popover, alert, everything. You can do everything inlane, just like I've shown in the previous video. There are some changes to event emissions and um, how and when these events are emitted, uh, which is a nice improvement, but nothing too fancy. We have a cool new form syntax, which makes it easier to use ion input. Um, so you don't have to nest this within an ion item anymore and it just makes life a bit easier. And beyond that, we got, of course, performance improvements like we pretty much always have with major Ionic versions. And now there's also Vite compatibility for React and Vue. And for everyone who hasn't heard the deprecation before, now it's finally time. Ion slides and Ion virtual scroll are removed in version Ionic. Uh, Ionic version 7. I'm already working on a new video covering Ion slides because the swiper slightly changed, especially for Angular, how you import the element. Uh, for virtual scroll, you can always just use the according framework version for Angular, React, uh, or Vue. I have to quickly interrupt today's newsflash for an announcement because the Ionic Academy turns six this year. Yes, I've been running the Ionic Academy for six years now and we are still going strong. We got 60 plus courses and we have a brand new Discord channel for all of the Ionic Academy members. If you're interested in learning Ionic, go check it out, ionicacademy.com, my place to help you with everything Ionic. If you got questions, if you want to learn, if you want app templates or if you just want to join our community check it out ionicacademy.com is this a big update well probably not if you check out the updating from ionic 6 to 7 it's actually pretty short you just need to install the latest versions um, and then there are a few changes which means this is really a small update compared to other updates i mean it's pretty cool the new landing page looks nice uh, with the uh, new stuff. I don't know what this is called, but it also looks pretty nice. I wanna have this as well. But if you check out, for example, Ionic 6, with Ionic 6, we had the bottom sheet, we had an accordion, we had a daytime breadcrumbs, like so many new components. Uh, with Ionic 5, we had the animations API that was new and uh, more UI changes for the header and stuff. So this update really feels a bit like, I mean, the thing is, it's been 15 months almost since the last version. So Ionic version 6 was released in December 2021. Now we're in April 2023. They said they wanted to release something every year um, uh, in the Ionic version 6 announcement. So I want to have faster, more reliable release cadence. Uh, well, they didn't completely <laughs> stick to that. Maybe they got messed up because of the acquisition of out systems in between. And they definitely ship cool things like we got portals, we got trapeze, uh, updates to AppFlow. We have a cool new uh, playground in the documentation of Ionic. So there were definitely a lot of changes in between. However, Ionic version 7 is cool, but it's not a huge improvement to Ionic. But at the same time, that's kind of good. And I think most of us are fine with that because you already have enough to do with updating Angular, React, Vue, whatever framework versions, so you don't need to mess up your code base again with an update of the UI library, which is usually Ionic. So if you want to get started, uh, you can also now use the fancy wizard. Uh, so pick an icon, color, and then select something if you don't like the CLI, or what you also can do. So I found this little gem here on Twitter. Max Lynch was working on something because AI all the things. Um, I think this is not yet finished, but you can already do something, uh, let's say Ionic Angular list detail page. And I don't know, I just want to click generate. And then it will give you the code for this using ChatGPT. As far as I know, Max just provided a nice little context. You put in your API key for OpenAI and then it generates stuff like this. I mean, you can also use OpenAI yourself, but it's quite funny and maybe we're gonna see something like that. Which brings me to predictions for the next time. So. Ionic 7 is here, we've talked about it, it's okay, it's a solid new version, but what is coming next? One thing I'm especially interested in is what I covered in the previous video. So in the developer preview, there were actually something called base components where you could strip off all Ionic styling and just put in your own styling for components. So they pulled this out because it had some issues. So maybe for the next major version, we are gonna finally see base components. That would definitely be interesting. 
Additionally, stuff people always asked about is better desktop support. So everyone I've talked about, yeah, we're developing Ionic apps and websites, um, but it, can we just make it look other different on desktop? And I don't really have a great answer to this to just do a lot of CSS customization. So maybe we're gonna finally see something about that as well in the future. And finally, of course, I've shown you this little example of what Max Lynch has been working on in terms of AI. So I'm pretty sure because many companies are doing this, that Ionic will at some point feed their documentation about everything to ChatGPT or OpenAI or any kind of language model. And then we're gonna have an AI search for Ionic. It's not a change to the major version of Ionic, but it's definitely gonna be helpful for the developer experience. With all that being said, I would love to know what you would like to see in an upcoming Ionic version. You know, I got a little connection to Ionic and I maybe can say, hey, could you look into this or look into that? So I really love to know what the Ionic family thinks. What is something that you would really love to see in an upcoming Ionic version? Drop a comment below, hit the subscribe button because still so many people are not yet subscribed to this channel and I don't know what to do about it. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and I will catch you in the next video. And of course, until then, happy coding, Captain Ionic.